Hello and welcome back to the uh, tyrannical triad tyrant people. <laughs> uh, Fantastic. Yeah. How, how are you guys doing? How's your How's your empire? Well, Sorry. my people have uh, they've dabbled with this whole diplomacy thing, and they've decided it's a terrible idea, <laughs> and so they're abandoning yeah. the idea forever. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You know what? Yeah. Defensive so, are probably good enough. I think defensive packs are good enough. Although I'm not sure defensive packs that might still be bad. Let's see. Uh or do I already have a defensive pack with you? I need a new rival. Who do I rival? Form a defensive pact. You um, accept dogs. this for me? Sure, whatever. So now the happiness should update. Okay, so now we can declare separate wars too. So if I declare on them asking for a bunch of stuff from the Northern Empire, I'm hoping the war will keep going. Even if you vassalize them, or maybe we could let me win my war first, or something. Sure. So how many how many troops do you have? Well, uh, like ship ship power. Uh, six seventy. Six ninety six. All right, so I'll come in and kill their fleet and kill their port with your help, and then I'll go and fight the war in the north. And if you could just not invade any planets until I'm ready, then I think it should work really well. Yeah. All right. Cleanse Dimis. Uh, and then vassalize the fell. The myth fell union. Oh, I can't afford that. Not even close. All right. How about a tributary? Do want them to be, what does tributaries do? They pay 25%. No, I'm just going to cleanse them from the existence, I think. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make sure this peace deal goes off right. Oh, God, I just move the map. I think I do want to vassalize them, actually. So I think I'm going to cleanse a bunch of their worlds in this war and then vassalize them in the next one. Maybe these things cost more because I have a truce. I wonder. I just on pause. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, war. want a non-aggression pack. You know what? Yeah, fine. So everyone's going to hate me for being a, you know, evil cleanser. Alright, I've just made the factions a lot happier. I'm at 62%, 70%, 55%, and 62%. I have declared war shoot. Go for it, go for it. Meet in Marthenius, please. Marthenius? Marinius? Yeah. <laughs> Does guaranteeing independence cost less than a non-aggression pact? No. It's the same. They're wise to our tricks. Mm -hmm. I need to upgrade my spaceports. Late game, like, if we're doing really well, we might even want to rival each other. <laughs> just for the influence. <laughs> and then keep working together. <laughs> we already have three rivals. Yeah, but, I mean, how long are they going to last? Until I eat them. Exactly. <laughs> and if that's if that's long, then I I mean, what are you doing with your life? Uh, so I guess their fleet's probably hiding in the home world. Yeah, looks like it. It is five hundred and fifty-six, and they have not rebuilt their port. No, they have rebuilt their port. I'm jumping to the next port. Uh, next I'm in guaranteed. combat right now. I just need are to we? get out of your defensive pact with the Gox. The Gox. I don't have a defensive pact. I mean, with, with lagging shoes and gox, they do. Oh, you, you're not talking to me. No. When you say you, you mean someone else entirely. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> Did you go with cleanse planet, you? No, I can't. Because good, because they just got a new planet. <laughs> nah. So that would have uh, that would have been inconvenient. So you must have your purge policy set to disallowed. Okay, I guess I just lost my fleet. Did you? I expected that to go a little better, but... <laughs> oh, I'm uh, sorry. They went up there. I thought they were going a different direction, so I didn't... No, 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 no. It was, it was a space station. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm pretty sorry. sure... I, I can rebuild fight. it. I'm making decent minerals. Good. I've come around to just basically only building the largest ships you can afford. Yeah. I mean, it's just range seems to be god in big battles. You can do so much damage before they even get in range, then they're just 
they're just done, man. I'll have to see how that. Where did you? Goes. Where did you? Where did you fight a station? <laughs> Marines, because my fleet was on aggressive. Oh yeah, I forgot. And they I've killed their fleet. Can thing. you handle their stations? Uh yeah, I just need to rebuild. The Oxpraxy okay. are uh, expanding. They went into Nimbus. Oxpraxy. Who are they? Look north of the center. Oh yeah. Was yeah, that by war or by normal expansion? No, look, look at the Gamus Vale. The big, uh, yes, was that by war or was that by expansion? Well, if you or look, just you'll find out. I'm looking. It looks like either they warred with this guy or the guy colonized far away, having been intruded on. He's colonizing Nimbus. You can see the borders expanding slowly. Nimbus? Oh, this is... Sorry, I thought you meant his northern expansion, because you said north. No. No, fair enough. Ooh, planetary capital tech. Yes, fucking please. Also, I got an extra core world, so time to kill this uh, sector. No, oh, I can finally get destroyers. Nice. Oh, I'm in desert. Yes, that should be fine. 45% habitability. You know what? You'll get over it. Sectors are so fucking terrible sometimes. Yeah, why? What did I... Literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Were you taxing the high? I was not. I taxed mm. them at zero. You taxed them at zero? To be honest, I only gave them the planet so that they... Uh, I wouldn't be over my core limit. Yeah. I'm making a bit of a southern excursion. I'm colonizing just north of that fallen empire. <laughs> Wait, for real? You're. Yeah, In it's entirely cut off from all but me. Yeah, it's entirely cut off from all but me. And the empire. Well, yeah, but, you know, they're holy protectors. They don't care if you intrude onto this, their space. Fair enough. Only thing they, although they do hate it if you make yourself robots, by the way. So oh. bear that in mind. Oh, that's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> we'll be fine. They only go to war to humiliate, I think, not to actually conquer when you do that. Hmm. So it's not 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 a huge thing. So you guys got planetary capitals yet? Yeah? Just building three. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm going to few. Doing the research for it. Cool. Just spent th I spent 300 influence on that colony. <laughs> it's mostly just to hem in these guys in between us, so I can in between me and there, so I can eventually get them as a vassal. Vassals definitely don't contribute towards planet count, right? Mm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Not a clue. The common the commonality of men Jews. Where's the commonality of women Jews? Jeez. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a weird name. Yeah. Right. I can't believe this freaking Xandar thing went into their space. So irritated. <laughs> Clearly I'm irritated. You know, I declared war on them over it. <laughs> oh, my Empress died. Unusual encounter. In Carendus. Really? There's no one in Carendus. Oh, yeah, there are. What are you? The Ooh. Daleth Menace. Oh, God. Somebody just what, popped what up. Are... Hey, guys. Oh. Yeah, what are these? Come look at these guys. Where? What on earth are they? Where? I've never seen these before. In, uh, sorry, in the northernmost one of mine before it goes into that weird tendril. Like, like you The 4K. Here. I don't uh, see it. Carandius. Uh, they're the people that were asking if they could have a, a planet on Turel. I told them to Oh, really? Off. Yeah. You lose that planet if you say yes. There's no planet there. I have no request from them. Oh, I just found no. them. Oh, well, you'll probably get a request soon. There's no planet there. Don't... I mean, there's no habitable planet. It doesn't matter. If they're going to ask for a non-habitable planet, probably. I'll give it to them. Turel why would, you, why would you not give a one? Why do you not want a one province minor next to you for you to annex? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, like, what's the downside there? Didn't want it. That's it. That sounds like a reasonable downside to me. <laughs> Glad you agree. 
send one of my colonies down, sorry, my building ships down to this uh, southern expansion I'm making. There's a 25 Gaia world down here, which I probably shouldn't colonize, <laughs> mm. considering it's a holy world, but... Yeah, not, not well. the best. <laughs> mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that in my uh, single-player campaign. I uh, colonized all three of their holy worlds and rivaled them and insulted them simultaneously. And then they declared war on me, but they had like quarter the number of men. So they got annihilated. It was a thing of beauty. I'm sure nice. it was. Communications established. Uh, keep out of our way or we will make quick work of you. <laughs> Oh, I built the wrong thing. I don't want an energy grid. Energy. No, not the freaking energy grid. <laughs> Good lord. Power <laughs> plant. There we go. Up. Do I want uplift? I feel like I don't want uplift. No. It's for Do you have to take... I mean, it's okay, because like a bunch of... Tri because tributaries give you influence. But I, I, I can get it later. Frontier Clinic? Now that I want. <clears throat> hey, my Volgar Dominance Front is currently doing quite well. How much fleet power have you guys got? 750? What am I going to do? I'm starting what do you call? Sorry, they've just sent me this request. Say again? Oh, I'm just starting to get my fleet back together. Oh, yeah. I'm very surprised that that station did so much damage. They want to settle. I had three pops. Yeah, go on. Why not? Oh, God, no. My game's glitching again. There we go. So I let them settle, and they didn't. <laughs> they like, oh, God, nah, no. We were just testing you. Did they appear on one of my worlds? They better not appear on one. I'll purge the hell out of them. Don't you think I won't? <laughs> I, will, I will purge them immediately. All right. So now they really like me. Does that mean they're gonna? I've never, I've never inter interacted with these guys before. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have them. They don't really like me. <laughs> wow. I let them settle on a world in my, in my area, and they don't like me. They have no opinion of me. To sure. upgrade must my be fleet, 2,289 mm -hmm. minerals. Nice. Looks like I'm saving up for a bit. The nomads um, sent us a parting message. They're leaving our galaxy. Good, fuck off. <laughs> galaxy? Yep. How are they doing that? Get a tech. Oh god, here they are. They just They did just spawn inside me. Oh yeah, so they did. Should I, just, should I declare war on them? Okay. Establish protectorate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, you thought you were going to give me 50 from that event? No, I'm also going to humiliate you and conquer you. Incoming transmission. Star charts for star charts. No, I don't want your star charts. But I love that pop-up because that means, hey, there's someone who wants to buy your star charts. And an active sensor link. You should always do that, by the way. Like, everyone in the world who likes you will buy star mm -hmm. charts and an active sensor link for monthly transfer of minerals. Yeah. Or an instant transfer. No, they actually didn't have any minerals. They have some energy credits, though. So I'll take them. There you go. Free 230 mineral uh, energy credits. I can get... Yeah. You can get one mineral per month for Star Arts and an active sensor link. Make it, make it 30 years. So uh, if they value one more, then sometimes you get more out of the 31. If it's at zero, is that a yes or a no? That's a no. I don't know. Even though it's sometimes green, which is a bit misleading. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> Extremely. 14 years. Do you ever build planetary shield generators? I really don't see no. the appeal. No. Like, if you're fighting the Scourge, then they can be helpful. But other than that, I feel like I should just keep this war going forever because I'm getting influence from my faction for it. I wish I could just set a planet to be like, build Corvettes forever. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> oh, 
All right. So these uh, Nemerthian Council. Well done. You've landed in our borders. You really like us. War. <laughs> <laughs> Humiliate. Open borders. What? You had fleets inside your enemy borders. No, I didn't. Oh, I just one guy. That's fine. Oh, critical energy shortage. <laughs> Uh oh. I'm so I'm too used to playing my previous game, which like I had maxed out everything for the last two decades. <laughs> well, my my ten decades actually. Oh good. I thought I just heard the alien spate ports engage spate ports hair, good lord. Space <laughs> port engaged Ooh. thing, and I was like, Oh, I didn't consider the fact that they might have like a super space port because they're nomads or some weird thing, but they don't, so it's all good. Chew, did you also accept the nomads? Yeah, it yes. is. Just me that said no then. Yeah. I don't know why you because did. Because I would have Free lost vessel. my um, observation post. Ah, uh, fair enough. I'm yeah, pretty sure that was the thing on this planet. I need more fucking physics research. Oh, good. They're quite good. They've got the uh, natural physicist thing. Ooh. That's pretty good. I can you could use them just as physicists, like have designated worlds for physics. Mm -hmm. Keep them on them. Station I like how attack. They have a spaceport oh, no. on not their home world. <laughs> Do they? Nice. Yeah. But not on their home world at all. Nope, not on their home world. <laughs> I'm resisting taking the cheaper war goals tech. I, d I want to know how that works, by the way, because I'm I swear I took more than four cheaper war goals techs last game. Hmm. And like that can't be right. <laughs> I took one. Figured I mean, sorry, in, in like I mean, like in my single player game, I, th I think I took like five or six. So they mm -hmm. can't be additive. And if they're multiplicative, that means they get rubbish pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah. Well, it's a, probably a repeating tech. They all had different names, so I don't think it is. I think there might, might just be a couple more than you'd expect. Oh no, my Admiral died. At the age of 85? Come on. My <laughs> They're colonizing while I'm bombarding their home world. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, man. I'm only a thousand Oh, you mean the ones you're at war with? Yeah. yeah. They don't have a, a place around the. a, a, a spaceport around their home world because I destroyed the spaceport around their home world for you. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense then. Yeah. Makes all kinds of sense. Go there. I like I just declared this separate little war. Mean meanwhile, <laughs> while the other war still rages on while I ignore it. <laughs> we'll just we'll just kill these guys. Oh yeah, a symbol of unity. Finally found it. Oh, sorry. I'm just hitting my mic there. You fucking will mm -hmm. be sorry, like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you stop a upgrade fleet order? Uh, yes, if you move to the give fleet. them any other order. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Because I just unlocked some more research and shit. So. Boom! I'm the first one to get a vassal. GG. Oh no, Lambo got one. Never mind. Having a vassal means nothing. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Get fucked. <laughs> Don't you invade my world. Don't you do it. Ha! Light bombardment. Cowards. Why wouldn't you put afterburners on if you can afford it? Interesting. Because auto fleet things are just terrible. Oh, suck a dick. I don't have time for your bullshit. <laughs> Me or your auto fleet transport thing? Bit of auto both. fleet upgrade thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just brought in their guys. Perfect time for me to arrive and kill them. I've got two techs that want to give me plus one max influence from factions. I never get much influence from factions. I don't know why this keeps showing up. Oh, yes! I got the Global Research Institute tech! Get absolutely wrecked. That's so good. Wait? To see bombardment progress in the galaxy map view. No. Nope. There's all kinds of terrible UI, unfortunately. 
Yeah, that's that's really dumb. It should say it next to the fleet if it's bombarding. It should say the number on a fleet as well. Like you can't tell how good a fleet is unless you hover over it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But oh well. It's still a fantastic game, so can't really complain yeah. too much. And now my upgrades will be three point four K. Uh huh. Oh yeah, so the war leader of my war is the guy that's right next to me, not your guy. Well, your war can wait until next time, because it is time to end. So it is good. Alright, so uh, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Later.